Hello and welcome to my review of the new Mark NV number two, the latest edition with the blacked out touch sensitive platters. Comes with fully loaded Serato DJ. This is my sound issues that I've had with this controller, running it off of a regular Windows computer. This is the way that you pull your audio through this DJ controller onto your Windows computer because Serato works best with Apple apparently. So this is the issues that I have had on getting sound. And in order to get sound on my laptop to use in streams, raw audio, I had to purchase this device. It looks like a red box. And on the front of it, it is called Behringer UCA 222 U Control B E H R I N G E R. This is a USB interface audio converter, and you run your red and white auxiliaries off your DJ controller. I have digital output going into my surround sound. But this device has a USB cord. You can see the USB cord I ran to my regular Windows computer. So in order to get the sound audio off of Serato into your laptop so you can listen to the raw audio on your laptop, you need to type in playback in the search bar. You can see I've already done that. Go up to choose your input device. When you choose your input device, it will pop up on this screen. Sound. Go down to Input. Select USB Audio. And it's going to be coming in as a microphone. So you go to Device Properties. And when you get Device Properties pulled up, you go over here to Additional Device Properties. And then you have to click Listen to this device and enable that. That will allow you to get raw audio out of your laptop and into your streams. That is the biggest issue I've had with this device. Also, I have learned that on Serato, while you are playing a song and you select another song, you have a tempo, a, a beat keeper up here in the top. You see this little red LED. When I play the song or move my sweeper up and down, that bar goes and shows me that I have songs in different tempos. And it shows me how slow or fast I need to speed the other one up in order to beat match. Now that's cool, and that's in Serato. But... One second, and I will show you how it actually works in DJ, Virtual DJ. And I, I really think that I'm liking Virtual DJ. You see the beat keeper, and when I move this up and down, the sweeper, it changes the tempo thing. So it shows me that I'm too fast, 81.5, over here is 77. So it shows me I'm too fast on the right side. And I push this up. And that's what makes it goes to the middle. Now see it turns white when I'm on the middle. What I don't like about this is it has a white light over here. But when I go up and down these little arrows don't light up. Now why don't they light up? It's got a white light. But the arrows don't turn green or anything. Same with the other side. Now, I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it looks like they're supposed to light up, doesn't it? Okay, let me get out of this. Bro, that was Serato DJ. I have found when I am in Virtual DJ and I pick a song and I have another song going on the left, let me play one up. And I had no audio issues with Virtual DJ. Very simple to get the audio into my laptop. You can control the soundboards from Virtual DJ in the settings. It's super simple. Can't do anything like that on Serato DJ.
But I notice that when I am playing a second song, this beat keeper actually moves by itself and shows me where I need to cue the song in. See, it starts on the middle. It starts wherever I push the thing at. Wherever I push Q, you see? The beat keeper will stay with the song. Let me pick another song. It makes it so easy to, to beat match. See, this song is so fast, so it goes with it. 128 and 116. I just thought that was so cool. Like, uh, just makes it so much easier to beat match. Um, and I haven't even, uh, analyzed any of these tracks in Virtual DJ yet. But that is so cool. Like, I can just keep my eye on the white light of the beat keeper. And that lets me know if I'm in time with the song or not. See if I can show another sample. I'll go with this song. I'm going to do the same song on two. Start on the right. Now I'm going to cue it in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It makes it really simple. But anyway, I hope that makes any sense. If there's any questions, post in the bottom. Thank you.